Hello everyone. Welcome to Bella's Crocheted Gifts. I'm Bella. Welcome. Um, today I'd like to talk about um, amigurumi and stuffed animals and things like that that I have made. Um, pretty much my first uh, time making anything stuffed was a pattern that I made up that was uh, pumpkins. And I have a picture of that. Hopefully I'll be able to Put it in here somewhere <laughs> like i said i'm still learning um and i have done other pumpkins um this being one of my early ones it is made of um some sample yarn that i got from i believe it was ac moore back when ac moore was still a thing but just a cute little pumpkin just a little bow on the bottom and then um i've made many pumpkin scents like i said um halloween is one of my favorite uh holidays so i have lots of little pumpkins and then i have a whole set that i took a picture of um earlier so i will put that here let's see uh last year i made um a little cauldron it it sits up better with things in it but it's just a little cauldron it's got cat hair on it <laughs> but I thought that was a cute pattern so I was able to make that um, I made a little witch's hat And a little witch's scarf that you can put on something cute and small. Um, so when I was getting back into making um, amigurumi, I first made some bears. And I'll see if I can find the pattern. Oh, he, he looks big. So this is one of the first bears I made. He has a little tail. And I made him with all corresponding um, ears and belly. And he's got safety eyes and a safety nose. And then my second one I made was this guy who's pretty much the same although he has same color hands and same color ears, but the feet and the belly and the nose are the same. And he's also got the safety eyes again. He is wearing a failed attempt at a child um, sweater. I ended up making the arms gigantic. <laughs> the arms were huge and like little tiny fit in the back so he fits on my bear and it's cute so <laughs> he, he got a failed attempt sweater and it it's great <laughs> uh, let's see I've also um hi baby I'm gonna have a kitty here in a second hi wanna say hi this is Sabrina hey baby wanna say hi oh you got a goober <laughs> little eye goober she she loves to come and sit on my lap while I'm in here so oop, I got a tail she's like what you doing I need to be involved <laughs> uh, so um, one of my friends I made her daughter a, um, a stuffed puppy which turned out really cute I made it for Christmas a couple of years ago and I will put in a picture here It's actually made with a, uh, I believe it's a discontinued yarn. Um, the the collar and the head fluff and around the feet, it was actually a, a pom-pom yarn that uh, that I got. And it's really interesting because it, it's a like a long string with a pom-pom, like every couple inches. And you just crochet it along and... 
um, wherever the fluff comes out, it comes out. And it turned out pretty cute. I, I was very happy with it. And then another thing I made, which she never ended up getting, she was too young and then she was kind of too old, but I made some crochet food. So this is bread, a tomato, lettuce, bacon, and another bread. So she never ended up getting those, but I have them. <laughs> You are really distracting, you know that little one? And then um, one thing I made this year, most recently, it is a, it's a bird. It's an Oriole. I have a friend who is a huge um, Orioles, um, Baltimore Orioles fan. And it's got little tiny feet. So... He is going to be so excited when I give him that. It turned out pretty good. And one of the reasons I was inspired to make this video is I got a particular yarn from Red Heart that are called Amagurumi. Let's see if I can get one better, better in frame. We go. Amagurumi. And what you're supposed to be able to do is this little hockey puck of yarn is supposed to turn into different um, animals. So this is supposed to be a mermaid. Um, I guess this one's a hedgehog. I don't remember getting a hedgehog, but there we are. I got an alpaca, let's see, I got a little monster, it's going to be cute, then I got a koala. Let's see, then I got a narwhal. And finally, I got, looks like a, a gecko or chameleon. Chameleon. So these should be pretty fun to make. Um, each one has, it says each one makes two. So to see how that goes but uh, I'm pretty interested to try Yeet. should be fun and I'll keep you guys updated once I get a few made <laughs> all right let's see what else have I been working on I've been working on that uh, blanket I showed you earlier um, the diamond square pattern um, and it is in its final stages. Once I am complete, I will put a photo in one of my videos and probably in the Facebook group. Um, I haven't worked on that, um, V-shaped shawl lately. I did, um, get another hat and scarf for the charity work done. What are you doing, baby? I see you have to be up there, huh? Oh, speaking of amigurumi, Cole is an amigurumi. Um, but, uh, really? Really? Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I've almost got another hat and scarf done. And I pretty much have decided when I was talking about the, uh, the latte cake to begin with, I was thinking that it was an actual five but it is actually, I would say a light four, maybe even a three weight. So I'm able to get a lot more hats and scarves out of it. I have one full hat and scarf made and I've got another one, another hat and most of a scarf done. And I still have 
you know, quite a bit of yarn left. So I'm thinking I'll be able to get even more out of those than I was thinking. So that'll be nice. More hats and scarves for charity. Yay! Um, other than that, I... Ah, she's just being weird. Other than that, I've just been, um working on my stuff and hopefully I'll have more to show you soon. What are you doing? Sabrina, no. You're the reason its head fell off. I had to reattach the head because somebody knocked it off. Hmm. All right, that's about it for now. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you're having a wonderful weekend or weekday, depending on when it is. But 